Hi, so one of the questions I get asked a lot is how do I, I'm, I'm teaching a course, let's say, um, let's say it's uh, CP English 3, and I have period 3, 4, and 5. And I want to have a discussion, but I want uh, the discussion to be separated so that just period 3 is able to see and discuss with just period three and period four with period four and period five with period five and the sections don't overlap. So let's take a look at two different ways uh, we can set this up in Canvas. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is go over here and make a discussion. Call this sample group. Sample, let's, let's call it sample section discussion. You leave your instructions or the prompt and then it, uh, in order to do this method it has to be graded and you can put in whatever you don't have to give it any points if you don't want to but let's just say it's 10 points. Um, put it in whatever assignment group that you want and here's where you can change um, the equation. So instead of going to assign it to everyone, you can just assign it to, let's say, period one. And then you put your due date in there. Um, you know, let's say it's due the seventh. And then you hit save. And it's gonna tell you, oh, not all sections are gonna have the discussion. You hit continue. And then you're done. Now, this is just for period one. So what you would need to do for um, the other periods would be to do the same process, but only assign it to those other periods. Uh, the benefit of this is it's completely separate. It's three different discussions, but that's also uh, the problem with it. Because of the fact that it's three different assignments, three different discussions, it will be in your gradebook three times. You'll have three columns, and you'll have to go to three different discussions to um, participate it, see what's going on, and then grade it. Uh, that may be good, that may not be good. Uh, so that's method one. Method two is to actually uh, use the groups feature in Canvas. But to set this up, you've got to have a group for each section. So here's how, what we're going to do first. So we're going to go over to people and uh, we're going to create a new group set. We'll call this um, section groups. And if you have three sections, uh, period, let's say, you know, two, three, four, or something like that, I'm going to say split my students into three groups, and I'm going to click require group members to be in the same section. Uh, I'm going to hit save, and then it's going to randomly assign all those in the groups. And I have a very small sample class here, so just to, just to see what, what happened. I know these were all in my period one. Uh, so that's my section one group. If it was like period three for you, you might need to rename it. So you can click over here and then you can rename this whatever you need to rename it. And my section two looks good. My section three looks good. Yes, it, it worked. So now I'm gonna go over here to this discussion and I'll use that same that same discussion prompt I used. Uh, I'm going to click over here. It's still graded. It's still 10 points. But instead of assigning it just to period one, I'll assign it to everyone. And then I'm going to make it a group discussion. And then once you click that, it's going to ask you what group set do you want. I'm going to choose my section groups. And it's 10 points. Everyone, the due date, hit save and publish and you are done. Now the advantage of this is you will be able, as a teacher, you will be able to see all of the groups, all the different periods um, together in one place. But if you're in period one, you will not be able to see what period in period two is writing about the in the discussion. And you won't be able to reply because you're not going to be able to see anybody else except for those uh, people that are in your period. So I, I kind of like that way, and then it's only one column in your gradebook, and um, 
it you know your students really shouldn't know any different uh, they're just going to see that one period so let me know how this works out for you and i hope this uh, was helpful if you have any questions uh, let me know thanks